pep talk motivation on self-love. Self-love is something that we all struggle with and it's a fight each and every day to make sure that we're holding ourselves accountable for our own happiness, all right? Because at the end of the day, you are the only person responsible for your happiness. That is not an outside source. So it all starts with self-love. Welcome to my channel, I'm Danielle Norman, and today we're diving in deep on self-love. Self-love is a journey. Self-love and self-growth go hand in hand. Self-love is understanding who you are as a person and accepting it. Self-growth comes from understanding exactly what it is you need to change, understanding your belief systems, and working each and every day to rewire that. All right, the only way that we can get to the vision of ourselves that we want to be is going within and repairing what damage has been to, done to us. Why we think the way we do is a lifetime of things and experiences that have happened to us. It's how we process things. Going within and understanding exactly why you are the way you are is where it all starts. Because once you can understand and forgive yourself and work towards the version of yourself that you want to be, that's when all the magic happens. So yeah, it's going to be hard work every single day. If you want to live a life that you know is possible, then put the work in. It's not supposed to be easy. In our society today, we think everything should be easy. We are so entitled nowadays. You are in charge of yourself, you are in charge of your world and universe. You create your reality. As Tony Robbins says, where focus goes, energy flows. That is one of my favorite quotes of all time. So whatever you're putting your focus on is where your energy is flowing. If you're constantly focusing on the negative things about yourself, well, you're only going to make that belief in yourself stronger. You need to rewire it right then and there. Catch yourself in that thought and think something else positive in that moment, okay? It's going to take a while to get in that system of realizing when it happens, but it'll slowly get easier and easier every single time. And then before you know it, you're going to catch yourself every single time you're thinking negatively and turn it into a positive. When you can do that, I think that is when you truly master life. If you can have a positive outlook on everything in life, then that is the highest form of self-love. Because if you have that view about yourself, that's the view you have of the world. And that energy is just going to spread. Self-love is putting the work in for yourself to live each day as the best day possible. It's not letting outside energies affect your energy. Yes, things are gonna happen. Yes, you're gonna have bad days. There's gonna be days where you're just in your head and everything seems to be going wrong. Like, that is universal law. Not every single day is gonna be perfect. Like, most days aren't perfect. But if you can have the vision and realize that, yeah, like I'm in my head today, that's okay, accept it and work through it for yourself, with yourself, then it's gonna end up being an okay day. You're gonna get in your head, you're gonna have bad days. It's knowing it's okay to feel your emotions. When you feel your emotions, feel your emotions. Go through the emotions. Why are you feeling that way? Once again, understanding yourself. That's the highest form of self-love is understanding yourself. Go through the emotions, understand why it's happening and work through it. Deal with it and move past it, okay? If you wake up in a negative mindset and you're already deciding it's gonna be a bad day, then it's gonna be a bad day because you decided that. You're creating that day. It is your reality. If you wake up in a negative mindset and you decide to work through it and understand why you're feeling like that and then leave it from where it is and decide to make a progressive effort to a positive mindset in that moment, progress equals happiness. If we're not progressing, we're regressing. And guess what happens in regression? Negative thoughts, depression, and we're not getting that self-love. If we're progressing at least 1% each day, that equals happiness. If you wake up in that negative mindset and you decide to work through it, understand it, and decide it's still gonna be a good day, then at the end of the day, you are gonna feel accomplished because you that little thing made a huge difference 
for the outcome of the rest of the day. And if you can do that every single time you get have a bad day, life's gonna be a lot better. And that is the highest form of self-love, is being able to decide what you are feeling, understanding yourself, and working through it. Start your mornings off with, I am beautiful, I am radiant, I am courageous, I am grateful, I am my best self. Like, fully believe it. This is why I journal every morning. I write a whole page of I am because I'm starting off my day with self-love. I'm starting off my day with that perspective of how I want the day to turn out. So take control of your emotions and create your reality the way you want it to. You got this, put the work in, work at it every single day. No, it's okay to get down. It's okay, you're gonna have bad days. Work through it, come out on top for yourself. When you can do this for yourself, that's gonna radiate to everyone around you. So always, always, always prioritize yourself, take care of yourself, and believe that you are the best version of yourself and that you're working every single day to achieve that. It takes time, understand that, but eventually you'll look back and see how far you've come and it's all gonna be worth it. So don't give up on yourself, work at it every single day. I believe in you. Don't judge yourself to other people. You should never be comparing yourself to another person. That is not self-love. If you are comparing yourself to other people, that's creating a negative energy in your field and you do not want that. This is your journey. You are what matters, all right? So you know what you need to go within and fix. So do that repair every single day so you can be your best self. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a detail with Danielle. Comment below on what you liked most from this video or if there's other topics that you would like me to cover, I can make videos on those too. So please comment below. Ladies, if you are looking for a coach to hold you accountable and make sure you hit your goals, go to my Instagram, send me a DM and let's make those goals happen. Thank you for tuning in today. If you like this video, please go check out my other videos and I will see you there.